Hey guys, so last week you remember I got some Trick Bricks track and I was explaining to you what it is, how it works. Uh, I've had a good chance to have a play with it this week. Play. I was playing with it this week, having great fun playing, getting my trains running, doing a few things I've been wanting to try and do. And I've learned a couple of lessons with the Trick Bricks. So what I'm going to do in this video is just show you what I've done here in my Lego train um, cargo depot. Um, what the tracks let me do and uh, a couple of things I've learned and issues I've had with it especially the smaller R24 curves and I'll, I'll show you a, a demonstration of that and it's, it's something they mentioned might happen but it actually didn't happen on the carriages I was expecting it to happen on which has uh, surprised me slightly so I'll show you that in a minute so let's start off by having a look over here at the track and I'll show you what I've actually set up in the city. All right, so the first thing you will hopefully notice if you've watched my videos is I now have three sidings for my trains here. Hooray! You can see I've got a good chunk of cargo in there. I should have room for another cargo train now as well, which is good. I'm probably going to have to reduce the cars I've got by one. Um, reason being, you'll notice that over there is not the R24 corners I'd hope to use. Now I put them in and when I did it, it actually took all of this about another probably 12 studs that way, I would say, 12 studs, something like that. It let me get basically one more length of train straight in here. You notice I've got some fillers of these in there now. So yeah, I had like, it was a longer siding, but the R24s just didn't work the way I wanted them to with some of these carts, which is what I will show you in a minute. Now, I have learned a couple of other things as well. If you look at this junction here, it has the trick bricks curve here, but not the straight piece that goes with it, which meant I could shorten the junction. So you'll notice these tracks are all six studs um, apart, not the normal eight studs. So again, I've compacted everything down. But one thing, again, they mentioned was it might throw the geometry out, which I figured out you could fix with my favorite flexi track, which you know I'm a big fan of. And then I've got an R24 here. And that actually does work in that position. So that short throw there actually works perfectly. As you can see, it all lines up nicely through there. I've done the same over here. And then over on this one here, I haven't actually done that one because I didn't need to. I've actually used two R24s on that one which made it even tighter by one stud. I've got five studs apart there. I might swap that one out, to be honest, for what I've done over here. But this one here does actually get a little bit tight on the bogeys on this train. It sometimes it's just, just popping out. So, yeah, I'm going to swap that one back. But it does mean I've got my, um, I've got nice long sidings in there now. None of these trains hit each other, which is perfect. Uh, I've also gave me this idea to put in this nice big gantry crane. So this is the gantry crane from my uh, 60052 train. What I've done is actually lifted the whole thing up. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this massive. <laughs> I'm literally going to make this huge so that it can lift containers up. It will be wide enough. But what happens is they can actually slide here through the legs. So you can see this. I haven't done any strengthening on this yet. This was literally me playing with an idea but I think that looks pretty sweet. So I've got my um, platforms in here. Oh, there we go, I'm gonna knock the tower crane over. So I'll have some platforms through the middle here, as you can see, so that's for loading and unloading the, the cars. All of this across here will be filled in, uh, and probably another one down that end as well. Oh, there we go. Another one down this end as well, so that cars can drive across it. Uh, and then this area here is going to become like the whole storage warehouse area that I've talked about for a while. So I'll have containers stored up and things like that. Uh, I think it's going to work pretty well. I might just move it all over a little bit more. So it's going to be a bit snugger against these trains here. But then that's going to have a, a shed down the end there. But I think this looks... I think this looks pretty cool. Uh, the, the, the trick bricks, I'm so happy with how it's let me do this space here so I can put more in. And I, I, <clears throat> I feel like this area already feels a lot more alive because of it. I have used the, uh, the normal um, trick bricks junctions here as well that I did. Again, I've taken the straight out here. And over there, that one is a trick bricks one again without the curve. 
and this one over here is a trick bricks one but that's a standard I've actually used flexi track there because again it fixes a geometry issue because I wanted to make it tighter so that train is now slightly wider apart but I took out the kink I had in there before and anyone who follows my Instagram channels knows I posted a picture of an issue I had where um, I'd had to fill in a gap through there and it was not pretty there was actually a slight gap in the track and it did occasionally throw the trains off and that's like a hard spot to get to unless I climb under my tables and things. yeah anyway I'm lazy <laughs> but I think it's looking pretty sweet I've got my got two trains in sidings there I've got lots of cargo here I've got some more cargo I've been playing with there there's a <laughs> a ball I made tonight I figured out using an immensely illegal building technique so I can't wait to show you that one I'm just trying to finish it off <laughs> anybody who doesn't like illegal build techniques is going to have a, a, a fit when they see that one <laughs> oh, I've got Emmett's uh, robot over there I was just playing with <laughs> what was in the city but he fit in uh, the only thing I have had to do is move Emmett's dream house over one as well again because I've moved it but everything runs a lot lot happier now because I've not actually tricked any of the geometry over here. So I'm happy with that one. Now I'm gonna show you what I mean about these R24 junctions. I'm gonna use a really super simple demonstration here. So this is just a, a long wheelbase uh, carriage with a couple of civil bogies, a, a GJ bricks and a, a cargo container on top. Incidentally, I've ordered some parts to make some new ones of these. So that'll be coming in a video soon. And here I have a straight two R24s and two curves. Now the two curves here don't really matter because uh, I've just run out of straight tracks to be honest. So um, I'm cheating slightly but if I put this on here what you'll see happens hopefully when I show you this demo is as the train comes into the corner here it gets to the point there where it lifts up. Getting in close on the wheels we see it lifts up like that. You can see it hopping up. And that was something they said would happen possibly on the smaller carts, but not the big carts. Now, the smaller cars than this, the sort of slightly shorter wheelbase than this, don't have that problem. It's actually because the cut, the bogey can't swivel enough on this particular design, but there's no way around it because there's only one hole in the top for the stud to go in. Now, you could fix that by using, uh, you know, moving to a single wheel, that would do it, or a Jacobs style bogey, they're selling the Jacobs bogey, if you never know what the Jacobs bogey is, check the link in the corner here, it's one of my most popular videos on my channel, for a very good reason, because they look super cool, but they solve problems, and there is actually a cargo system, which uses that same high speed um, bogey system, now it's not designed for this problem, but it actually solves this problem. So you can see that's lifting right up, right up, right up, and we're off. Just for comparison, here is a cattle car. Let's put that one around there. And you'll see there's, there's a little bit of friction there. It's actually, you can see how, hopefully how tight that is on that corner. And this is the thing they told me about where it really is quite hard to, to make these work for many carts. If you use just one, which is what I've done on my junctions, it's fine. But using two together, it becomes really quite a strain on the train there. So that's my little demonstration of the R24 problem I've got there. But I will say I do still recommend them combined with junctions. They are absolutely brilliant because they do save space and they do work. And it's non-destructive, as I said, which is a very important thing. I hope you enjoyed that little run through of the Trick Bricks tracks in action. You can tell I'm pretty happy with how it's come out. It does work. I am a little bit disappointed with the R24 problem, but it's really to be expected because that is a pretty tight corner. Um, it's a shame it didn't work because it would have saved me a little bit more space and given me one more extra straight, but I've learned to live with it. It's fine. But when you combine it with the junctions, it's awesome. So I'm going to do a, a, a proper video on the junctions with these tracks um, as, a, as a review so you can see them in action properly. But that's uh, that's how I've done it. And let me know what you think of the adjustments to the cargo depot. Uh, and if you've got suggestions on that crane, because I think that's going to be pretty awesome. Big crane. <laughs> but let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, are you getting, have I tempted you with the trick bricks yet or not? 
Oh, have I tricked you? Have I tempted you to put a Lego train set in your city now? Um, I'm sorry if I have, because you know I love trains. I'm a big fan. Uh, they do take up a lot of space, which is why things like this are so important and so awesome. Um, and I'm glad there's a market for these now. There's a few other companies around, but I've gone with Trick Bricks. Just I felt like they were uh, the right company for me because of that, some of the people I talked to, which is, you know, again, the reason I chose them. Let, give this video a like so you uh, let YouTube know you've enjoyed it and uh, if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on. I post regularly and I will be doing more train stuff. Oh yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video guys and I will see you again soon. Now here's a couple more videos I think you will enjoy.